everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So this has been requested by a lot of people, especially in my DMs regarding um, issues regarding VRM to PMX because uh, the DMs I've been getting lately were about Void users having a hard time converting their models into PMX, whether they get random errors from the program or Unity crashing and such. So, first of all, I have a, a tutorial that is the Unity package version of VRM to PMX, and sometimes that method may not work for everybody, basically. I also have another tutorial that goes over Blender to MMD, basically, which is not really recommended for beginners, as it's a bit more challenging basically um hopefully as i release more mmd related tutorials or pmx editor tutorials hopefully it'll kind of help those who are doing that message but i want to make this tutorial dedicated to the vrm to pmx programs now there are probably a lot of different versions out there but i want to just talk about the three different versions that do exist now this one is the original version vrm to pmx 0.5 and then this one here is a newer version. It's basically derived from this one, but in its own thing, basically. So this is sort of a newer version of this one. Since some people had issues getting this one working, so some people would use this one. Now for this one, from what I've heard, I could be wrong, but this one primarily is best if you have a Void stable version, the newer Void models. If you're using Void beta, you might struggle, but we're going to see how it turns out because we have lovely Test Chan, my, the Void model I tend to use for tutorials. Um, so we're going to use her uh, to test out these programs. So we'll test out this one and see if it exports out a PMX file. And then we have this one. This one I actually just found out just today actually. Um, it's pretty much, once again, it's like a, I guess a little bit more of an advanced version between these two basically. Uh, which is nice because you can see that they have uh, slots here and such. But either way though, um, we're going to basically use these three and I'm going to demonstrate how you use all these three basically. So, what I have here is file explorers for all of these basically. So we have the VRM to PMX, they're all VRM to PMX basically, they're just different versions. So this one's a 0 0.5 one, this is the one that I was talking that might be best for stable Void models only, and then you got this one that's just the new one I just found out basically. And I'm going to show you how to use all three of them basically. So. I have my lovely Test Chan uh, here. Her files are right there, jumbled up and such. But we're going to use her to demonstrate. So, we're going to start off with VRM to PMX 0.5. So we're going to double click on the program. This is going to pop up. Just stick with the default settings. Uh, you don't need crazy resolutions for the best results. All you just want is the... You just want the, the VRM all to be into PMX. Now, um, I will also mention as well, you, um, I can't rescale it because of the output I put, but basically if you notice, um, actually let me just quickly, uh, reopen it so that way, um, is there a way to open it or at least change the resolution size? Okay, maybe not. But basically though, uh, you're going to basically see at the bottom screen, I just want to show this. But there's an option for uh, load VRM and then convert to PMX. Now, what before I click on those buttons, I always, always click on out. I always disable out Void F effects basically, because what this does is that it creates like a sort of shader file when you export it. I think it's an EMD file, which I might make my own tutorial on that. But basically, EMD files are basically that it's a file that allows you to automatically have effects load up when you port it to MMD. Basically, the reason why I disable it is because it can frick up the textures a lot and the shading. So I always disable it. Um, some people may want it, but me personally, I don't like it. Uh, I don't even know why that's even an option. So always disable it. Now, certain models may need to rotate 180 degrees if the model is backwards, but even then you can still fix that in PMX Editor if that's the case. But there's that option, but I never click on it though, because most, if you're especially a Void model, you don't need that option. It's only certain models, basically. But you're going to load VRM file, basically, and I'm going to go ahead and censor my screen until I get to Test Chan. Um, 
because I don't need my file of exposed or anything like that. But here we have my files here. Um, I'm going to click on the Roid one here. I believe this is the original one without my edits. And all I'm going to do is convert to PMX. And just give it some time. It's going to load. You don't have to do anything else, basically. I only recommend that you have a very strong PC. Not a super powerful beefy one just a decent one it should at least if you have a computer that should at least run unity you should be fine but if your computer doesn't run unity then you might run into issues using the program and sadly there is no wrong way of using this program as it is not really that complicated so if by any chance the model does not want to work or it takes too long that's probably just a pc issue than you basically so if that's the case there are uh, the other two options um uh, of course, there's the other option I mentioned about the Unity package and such. That's a different tutorial I've already made. I won't go over in this store, but it's already a tutorial. Just look in the description for the Unity package version. But if this one doesn't work, well, then you can say goodbye to this one and we can move on to the next. But you should have your uh, PMX file here, basically. And um, pretty much, you know, once it's loaded up here, just give it some time. You should have your Roid model be in the MMD format with its IKs and everything. But if let's say it doesn't work um, at all, then there is the other method. So we're going to get rid of this one. Okay, so for the next uh, version of Roid to PMX or VRM to PMX, basically, we have this one, uh, which is mainly recommended for Roid models that are stable builds rather than the beta models. Now, Test Chan, as you saw, is pretty much a Void beta model, so most likely it may not work for this, but we are going to give it a shot, basically. So, we have different EXE files here, one for Japanese, one for English, and one for Mandarin Chinese. So, we're going to choose the one that says EN uh, US, and we're just going to click on Open here, basically. And what you're going to do is you're going to hunt down your VRM file and then on the output you're going to just find, you're just going to select where you want the output to be. So I'm going to go ahead and hunt down Test Chan real quickly, which she's right here. And we're going to select Broin and it's going to show us the uh it's going to show us the folder that's going to make. So a new folder is going to make Void, the numbers, and Void to PMX. We're going to click on run Void to PMX basically, and as you can see. Um, basically, it has the error saying that the VRM output was x squared by Roy Beta. So basically, it's saying, you know, y we can't um, export. So this is what I was saying. That is pretty smart. So it has to actually, this one's specifically for Roid stable models. If you don't have a, a Roid stable model, basically, or a Roid model that's made with uh, version 14 and up, it's not going to work, basically. But I do want to at least show you how to do it. But pretty much, it's like the same way as the other program. All you do is click on Run to Roid the PMX with a Roid stable model. This also does not, you know, from scratch models, I don't even think it'll work. Like, I'll even give it a try right now. Open, kind of... Um, we're going to choose a random one, run, and yeah, see critical error basically because, um, it needs to be specifically a Roid model, not a from scratch model. So you can see how it has an error if you're trying a from scratch model. So this is only for Roid stable models. So just keep that in mind. So that there's that, but it is another option though, if the original VRM to PMX doesn't work. There's this version, but if you're a beta or from scratch mall, this is not going to work. It has to be purely, it's like HANA tools basically, where HANA tools, you cannot edit the model. Like, it's only for Roy models, but you can't edit the model. You cannot delete the transparency meshes. Otherwise, the add not going to work. Same thing here. It needs to be freshly exported from Void without any edits basically. Not, no, not even Unity. Uh, I think maybe Unity edits might work, but it might still break it, though. So, Unity edits, Blender edits, no. You have to be, it's fresh from, clearly fresh from Void stable, basically. But, yeah. But I just wanted to, like, showcase that, though. So, here in this recording, I'm showing, basically, um, where I actually took... So I had to download a Roid stable for this basically, but I'm putting Test Chan 2.0 into the program basically. I'm just clicking and dragging and then I just click on 
uh, run Void to PMX, and as you can see, pretty much it's actually working. You can tell just based on how it's taking more time to register, because if you put a Void beta model or a from scratch model, it's going to just immediately reject it. But a Void stable model that's, you know, the official version, like 14 up, um, it will actually be detected. And basically, um, we just go here to test chan 2.0, click on uh, the the newly PMX file it made, and boom, there goes test chan 2.0 basically, or it's just a void model basically. Now, I will mention it doesn't output the physics though. I will mention that that's actually because for this add-on, it relies on the add-on PMX Taylor uh, in order to create the physics. So if you really want to add physics to your model, you can either a download that add-on and make it yourself. I'm not gonna go over that in this tutorial, but there's that add-on, or you can just simply uh, select the bones here, for instance, go into edit bones add your uh, bone and joints and then you can make physics there. Um, I've already had like other tutorials regard- I have two other tutorials regarding how I make my hair and skirt physics stuff, stuff basically, but um, those are a bit more for automatic rigging basically, just keep that in mind. But I'll, I'll think about probably making like another tutorial regarding physics though, but I in this tutorial I won't be covering all the extra stuff for PMX basically. Um, if you want sp specific tutorials regarding MMD or anything PMX related, please let me know and I'll make it happen. Um, but either way, there's just no physics on the model though, uh, but at least it is a very well functioning model. It has the twist bones here, which I can move it around, which is really good. Uh, saves time for using standard bone. So pretty much this model is pretty much ready out of the box, with the exception of physics. It's ready, pretty much ready out of the box to be prepared for dancing and stuff, but yeah, just to keep that in mind, but overall, uh, this is another method to getting your Void model into PMX if you have a Void stable model. But there's that option, but then there's this final version, which is VRM to PMX, the new one that I just found out today, but I want to at least mention. So when you ex- um, for me personally, in case you're wondering how do you extract these files, I use BandyZip uh, to extract all this stuff because it's more easier and if I have to ever uh, encode some Japanese stuff to, you know, proper... Um, basically, like, many zip has this option to, like, you know, fix the broken Japanese characters uh, for English PCs. But either way, though... Um, now what you're going to do for this one, you're going to click on VRM to PMX. Do not click on this file because once you click on this one, it's going to actually, or at least it should open the other window right here. And um, basically, uh, the first step would be to load the VRM file. So we're going to go here, I'm going to find Test Chan, Roid, uh, so we're going to choose it. And we see lovely Test Chan, hi Test Chan. And now step two um, is basically, you know... It's basically the PMX stuff. You can select your output. I'm gonna go ahead and make a folder for this. So folder, uh, let's say just PMX test or something, whatever the heck. So we're gonna click on the folder here, select the folder, um, give it some time to do whatever the heck, basically. But yeah, then the the third one, by the way, that's just about the um, the blend shape, basically, that or the morph naming. But yeah, so if you want to edit the morph stuff, you can do that. But it already had outputted the PMX file, so the second step was just outputting it. But if you want to do some edits with the third step, you can. But I usually do not touch the names. I usually change the names in PMX editor itself. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and exit the program. We're gonna find our lovely test chan. We're gonna look at the folder and see what it exports. So as you can see, there's the mod VRM one. Uh, so it's a modified. Your M file, which is nice, uh, and then boom, you got another, you got another PMX file basically. While the second one failed for me, because Test Chan here is not um, a Void stable model, uh, she is a Void beta model. So two programs worked for her, but once again, though, um, it depends on you. It depends on the model you're going to be using. So if it's a from scratch model, like from Blender. 
to VRM to PMX, I would recommend use the first option. You could also use, once again, the third program I just covered. You can. Um, but I would usually use either the first program or the third program for an easier way. If it doesn't work, I would use the Unity package version instead for that case to get working. If by any chance none of these options work at all, your, your only hope is the Blender to MMD manual way, which is the hardest way, but is the only choice basically. At least you'll be able to get the PMX file, but you're going to have to do a lot more work when it comes to setting up the IKs, the physics, uh, twist bones and all that. Well, I mean, this one doesn't even have twist bones. You're going to have to use um, something like the standard bone plugin and add it automatically and other stuff, basically, which I'm not going to go over every add on this tutorial. I just want to go over how to get a VRM file to PMX and what are the multiple ways you can do it. And this is more specific towards Roid models, though, because Roid models, you know, they're commonly used a lot. They have a standard, so therefore it's a lot more easier to convert them to PMX, but from scratch, it's a little bit of a different story. But it can work though. But when you do export your uh, VRM file to PMX, do keep in mind you're going to have to do some edits with it basically. Now, um, I don't mind helping you know out with edits and stuff with PMX, but do keep in mind that regarding PMX editor stuff or anything PMX related, you can't really profit off the program basically as in commissions, for example, like if I were to do PMX editor commissions, I will not be able to profit off of it. So if you ever plan on commissioning me for PMX stuff, that's sadly not going to happen because the creator of PMX editor prohibits commercial use. I'm going to assume it's probably because of the program components that prohibits commercial use. That's all I can really assume. But you can't commercialize no matter what. And if you think I'm... If you think this is a lie, just go ahead into the PMX editor folder, look at the readme file, go all the way down, and there is a section about prohibit of commercial use for business and individuals, basically. There may be some exceptions, but really, no. There is no commercial use allowed in the PMX editor program. So, just keep that in mind if you're going to DM me about PMX stuff if you want me, personally, to make the edits. What I was also mentioning about if it takes too long, um... So basically, you can see that, you know, it's not loading at all. This is actually someone, uh, an issue someone else had. So if your model is, if your VR model is definitely very big, it's going to probably take a lot longer to process it, basically. Which is the reason why I say, for my model, I always manually convert it, which is not easy. But it's the only way for me to get my model to PMX. But, you know, you see, basically one of the issues. But if something like this happens, try the other programs. If it doesn't work, use the Unity package. If that doesn't work, then just use the Blender to MMD method, which is not the easy way, but it's a way. It's not recommended for beginners, though, so if you have no idea how to do... Uh, if you have no idea how to do Blender stuff, then just be careful, basically. Just take your time. Um, but either way, um, all I can say is... I hope that the tutorial at least helped you at least understand the three programs or at least the three main options you have regarding programs. And I even mentioned many times there's the Unity Package version and the Blender version. Blender is not recommended. Unity Package is alright, but some people may have issues with Unity still. But those are the messes regarding Void or any VRM to PMX basically. Um, but that's all I can really say though. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Hey, 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 h